Eric, start here at the DC supply okay. and follow that wire and see what happens to it. Well, it goes all the way up here and it goes here and it meets a clothespin. Yes, and yes. I have the jaws of the clothespin held apart by a little piece of candle. Mm -hmm. And when it's melted and gets out of the way, two wires inside there will touch and trace what happens on the other side. Well, then it goes all the way up here and it meets a bell. Right. And the mm -hmm. bell rings and what's going to happen to the current then? comes back All over here to the DC supply. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Are you ready to light the candle? Yes. Okay, and then you'll get an idea why I call this a fire alarm, including okay. a fire surprise. You'll see why in a minute. Okay. There we go. Candle Melly, ha, put out the candle, put out the fire. Well, you There it goes. Holy. You see why I call it a fire alarm? Yes. Now, it was a surprise. Would you blow out the fire? Well, clothespins can be used for hanging up clothes, but they're yes. also very useful because you can hold them apart with something and then it comes together as a switch, mm -hmm. especially for a homemade fire alarm. This is great. Thank you.